so in this video we are going to see about the inheritance in phd so inheritance is nothing but how the child not inheriting the habits of parents the genes from parents here also we can declare two class where one class can be considered as a two or more class where one class will be considered as a parent class or base class and the next class can derive the public members and functions which are declared in the base class so the one which is deriving is said to be the child class so for example uh, let us have this program called class animal okay we have declared a class called animal and we have the following variables local uh, that is uh, member variables a the legs and category then we have some member functions for this class function set age legs so where we pass values for age and legs and then we assign them then we have two member mem mem functions which will return the value of this age and legs to the main program now we declare another class called dog and which is inheriting the properties of animal so how you can inherit by the keyword extends so this is another class which is inheriting the all the member functions all the member functions which are public as well as the public member variables so this function this class can access all these things as if it is declared inside this and this is said to be the child class whereas this is the parent class or base class and this is said to be the child class or derived class okay which is deriving all the properties of its parent now animal is said to be the parent of this now this has its own uh, variables so separate type species and all here it has its own member functions along with this it can access all these also we'll see the program here we have type and species that we assign the value type uh, by using the set type and get type we return that value same way species now uh, get species and set species now in the main program we uh, no need to instantiate the parent instead we can instantiate the child so here we created an object called obj1 new dog see here we have in, we have called only the child not the parent so if we call the child itself all the parent quality all the parent functions uh, variables will be inherited by this uh, class that is child class so see here obj1 category whereas this category is declared only in the parent that is here but we are able to access as if it is declared in this dog that is in this class so obj1 we use only this obj1 category then we assign some value then obj1 set age legs this set age leg is also declared only here see but we are able to access it so after so like this we can access all the other member functions as well as variable along with its own thing see for example set species set species is declared inside this dog uh, class and then set type is also declared here only okay so we are able to access all these things as well as this then uh, you are a, see here get species get species and get type both are declared in the main parent class animal and get age is get age oh sorry get species and get type are declared in this uh, dog class that is child class whereas get age get legs and this category all these things are declared in the child parent class so we are able to access as if it is declared in this child class so now i execute this program and see how it works Yeah, you are a dog. You are a mammal. You will live up to fifteen years. Have four legs. You are a pet. This is what we have given. We have assigned pet. We have given the age to be fifteen. It has four legs. 
And it is a dog, it is a mammal. That's what we are displaying in our courses. Okay. So this is echo statement. We have, here we have called those values and we have printed. So this is how inheritance works. Suppose I want to use one more class called lion. So let us see how it works. Suppose we have one more. Here this extends, this dog extends animal. Same way we want to extend one more type called fish. So after this, okay. Same thing, it is also having type, species, etc. Another, we have declared another variable and it extends animal. Okay. So, so we have used, we have declared another uh, class and which extends the parent class. So, this is also a child, this is also. Dog is also another child. Now we'll see the main program. The greatest object. Or a chain. So what has been done is here obj1 is created and uh, this dog class is created. Then we have created another object where this lion, object, lion class is created. Both are children of a child of uh, animal. Okay. So now here we have just assigned the particular. See here also we are able to use as if it is declared. Whereas this category is declared only in the uh, parent class, which is animal, whereas we are able to access it as if it is declared here. So the same way how we have seen just now for this dog class, we have used because all are similar, we have declared the function similar function. You can declare some other functions also. Okay, so we can give So well, let me run this program. Here also we have used obj1 set age legs, same the set age legs which is present in the animal function number functions, we pass parameters and assign to obj1. Same way for obj2 also, we call the same uh, parent um, functions, number functions and we assign. We will see how this gets reduced. So I haven't saved this document. You are a dog, all these things are there. Then you are a lion, mammal, you live up to 20 years, four legs, and you are a wild animal. For the category, we have changed to the winter lesson. Okay. So, uh, with inheritance, you can declare a parent class and a child class. And the whatever is declared in the parent class that is public, that can be accessed by the child class. And not only that, any protected variables or protected functions also can be accessed by the derived class. Whereas private functions, as what we have seen in the previous one, it can be accessed only through a public function. 